sword, man. Love it. Straight from Demon Souls to Dark Souls to Dark Souls 2 and all the way to Bloodborne. Crowd favorite. I'm so stoked that it's here. Cannot wait to go get this thing leveled up and see what she can do. Alright, so Lugwig the Accursed has been slain. I better like this now. And here she is. The Holy Moonlight Sword. It is a 50, 50, 21 as I have it. Um, it's, it's a 16 strength, 12 uh, skill or dexterity, it's skill in this, and then 14 um, arcane. Now it says DD for now, but it will go up, and then it probably goes to an A in arcane. So this is going to be like a full on arcane build, basically like a magic sword. Magic sword. Um, full on like magic build sword. That's what it's always been. Uh, so DDC right now, as far as strength, uh, skill, and then arcane, I just know this thing's going to be a beast. It's also got good durability at 250. Arcane right now is very. Cool. I mean, it's 50, and it's so like let's say 71, okay. And then you got 9 and 63, so 90 and 63, so that's like you know 150. Then another 70. That's like 200 and shit out the box. 220 or something. So, yeah, man, that's really good. In fact, uh, this is plus three. Let's see what these others do. Yeah, it's better than any of these. Um, this whirly gig's also pretty good. I think the best are going to be like, so far, I like the Whirly Gig. Uh, so far, okay, I'm going to say Moonlight Sword first. And then I would probably go with the uh, Amygdala Arm second. This thing is really cool. I'll go ahead and equip that and show you what this thing can do. So this is Amygdala's arm. It's like a little baby arm version. And the tendons come out with this like scythe and it's fairly fast i thought it was slow when i was seeing other people use it but i can definitely see i would be right on top of the speed of this thing it's a gonna be a beast and then if you need to you can transform it and then it'll just work basically like a hammer club weapon blunt so i don't know if this is gonna be slash here but I would think it would be a slash attack. Um, let's see. No, you have the blunt and thrust into just physical in this. So you got, yeah, man, this thing's beast too. See, it's, it's arcane, blunt, and physical. So it's pretty good. Kind of like, yeah, it's really good. So I would have to say the Moonlight Sword, the Amygdala Arm, and then... Maybe this uh, Beast Hunter Scythe, I think I like this a lot, too. They're all cool. I, I don't know what's going to be the best, but I'm going to assume that <laughs> Moonlight Greatsword's going to be OP as fuck. And then the Amygdala Arm's going to be fucking really good. It looks really good. I really like the moveset on it. And then uh, the Beast Hunter Scythe's pretty badass, too. I think that's going to be really good in PvP. The Beast Cutters, hell, they're all good, like I say. They're all good, but... And this really good thing is pretty awesome, too, because this thing is... You got your, you know, club here. I think you can even get some thrust into there. Maybe not. That might be full on blunt. And then, here she is. Get sliced. Pizza cutter. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see what this can do. Need to upgrade it though. Actually, it does damage now. It straight up does, but this thing at plus 10 is going to be extremely dangerous. I mean, extremely dangerous. There's the back step R1. Pretty quick. Back step R2. Wham! Get your jump attack. Your roll R1. Roll R2. Pretty cool. 
And then transform. Let's see how we can transform it. Wham! Swing, transform, wham! 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 That is a beast, bro. That is gonna fuck the shit. Oh. <laughs> Of course, I always have my blades on me because they get invaded. So, just show some quick moves here. Here's the Beast Hunter Scythe. It's like a one-handed scythe. Really cool. R2. Charge R2. It's a spin around the back. Char R1 combo. It's got some weight to it. This is a strength. L1. Change, uh, transform, attack, which would be your R1, L1, R1, L1, L1, L1. That's going to be a lot of bonus damage each time it's opening and closing. And that hit, hits, so you're going to swing, L1, 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 swing. How are you doing? Also, the distance this thing encloses is incredible. Watch this. When you just hit your regular one, you see that little, how he kind of just uh, lunges forward. He really is closing some ground. So, like, if I'm here at the wall and that's an enemy and I just go R1, wham, I've hit him already. That is so fast. That's going to be boom, 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 and they're in your shit, you know. And then they're fucking, fucking you right there. And if you need to, you can get the bat. You got this range. And that's going to give you extreme power. So this is going to be one to look out for right here. I can guarantee that is going to be a beast. So here's your charge. Smash. And then we got our dodge back, R2. R1. Dodge, that's pretty smooth right there. That's going to be very cool. Huh. It stabs with the point there. I keep trying to do my combos and I don't have fucking bullets. So there's a jump attack. All right. Um, that's going to be really good. So, let's see the others real quick. Here's a Beast Cutter, also pretty good. I took this up to three. This is like a cleaver. Very fast, too. Now, the cool thing about this is it's short and it's fast, but you can... Boom! You want some fucking range? We got some fucking range. Look at that thing. That's insane range on this thing. You can't get away from that. If somebody knows how to use this, and I got that timing down, you're fucking gonna get chunked in the head. And not only that, let me just show you something that's really cool about this weapon. Let me just show you. Uh, actually, I show this. All the weapons that you're able to do this with, uh, you can buff them. So, this one here, obviously, you don't only have the weapon, you got the flaming motherfucking version. So, that's beast, right? And transform that bitch, getting their ass fast with it. And that's heavy damage right there, let me tell you that. That's good fucking damage on this weapon. There's your uh, R2, jump attack, dash back R1, dash back R2, roll attack R1. Roll attack R2. Uh, transform. We're going to go R1. L1. 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 Say that. Dodge back. Roll attack. Transform. Roll attack R2. Wachoom! That is beastly. 
That is a monster. This thing is going to be a monster, especially against Beast, but it's going to fuck up people, too. So. All right. So, also, I should mention, in the Amygdala weapon, you're not going to be able to put fire on this or electricity because it has the guns in Arcane Damage, so it would just be a little too OP. Uh, I do believe you can on the Pizza Cutter. I'm not sure if you jump attack with the Amygdala. R2 jump. Dash back. Swipe. It's basically like a one-hand scythe, too, with that a two-hand range. This is going to be a monster. And then let's do the transform mode here. Let's go uh, that way. Bam. Wham. Wham. <laughs> That's a beast. All right. Um, and then, so... Just gotta show this. When I do get that rune, these these claws are gonna be amazing. Anybody that says they don't like this game, it's gotta be stupid. All right, so uh, boom hammer, pretty cool. Charges it up with the fire there. Your R2 is gonna make a huge explosion when you smash this thing. You can click it, bam, he slunges it into it, plunges it into his shoulder. Click! Click! So each time you do that, you're gonna need to recharge it with the fire. Also, this is like a strength uh, arcane weapon because it's like uh, fire damage. I wanna say solar damage if they used to play in fucking Destiny. Um, Oh wait, also let's see, I don't believe, yeah, you can't use fire or electricity on this, it's built in basically, so. Alright, and then uh, the Whirly Gig, I think you can use, I'm not sure, I haven't actually got to test these out personally. So I'm just going to, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think you can, so. You got the, boom, flaming motherfucking Whirly Gig saw, that's OP as shit. Flaming serrated fucking, get, <laughs> what can I say but fucking wow? And so the thing that's good about this is you can transform it and still get this like really fast attack with this uh, this thing. That's fast. That's fast, dude. I mean, you can't dodge that. That's fast as fuck. And look at all the swings you get out of it. That's a lot of goddamn swings. So you can do that. Boom, 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 crunch. And there's the finisher right there. And I believe you can stun lock the shit out of somebody with this spin shit. That's gonna just. Uh, 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 it's fun to shit. You just stun lock a motherfucker to death. So, really good. And, uh, Holy Moon Light's fucking sword. Yeah, baby! So, I did this with a friend earlier and got it. And it got a few people. I went ahead and did this with myself, uh, with my harder character. Um, I did get an NPC. They're not a whole lot of help, but they did help me kind of just keep him in a corner and just I got to keep the damage on the boss. Uh, it's really what you want to do. You want to uh, overwhelm Ludwig. Don't let him overwhelm you. Overwhelm him. So otherwise, he's just gonna donkey kick you, and smash you all over the room, spit on you, shit on you, and all kinds of shit. Anyway, this is just beastly. Holy fucking f! Right? Moonlight, fucking gray sword. All right. Well, these are the weapons so far. DLC. Thanks for coming by, checking it out. Leave a comment if you like something. Like, subscribe, all that shit they say. Uh, appreciate anybody that comes by and checks this stuff out. Hopefully, you like this stuff. You're interested in it like I am. Uh, I have a great, great time with this. Uh, you can hit me up at Bubba's Game if you want to play. Uh, send me a friend request, whatever. I will be getting deep into this DLC. And I'll take it easy. I'll see you guys later.
Bye. Bye-bye.